G'day everyone, this is another Back to Basics video. It's about um, resistor selection and the three questions broken up into three parts that generally um, uh, new guitar pedal builders ask about when they're buying their resistors. The first one's gonna be about the power rating. Um, the power rating for the resistors, generally you use quarter watt. It's an unwritten rule. Most PCBs are made for quarter watt resistors. Um, if you try and use half watt, I'll just, I can't get quarter watt, so I'll use half watt in, instead. They probably won't fit into the, into the um, pin spacing uh, on the PCB. So try and get quarter watt. Don't use one eighth watt because that can, sometimes in some pedals, that can actually, um, if too much current goes through it, it'll burn it out. So you really want to stick with quarter watt unless you're told to use something else. Um, some power, I know a, a power supplier built, I think it needed a one watt resistor. Sometimes you get things like that in it. If you're building amps, that's a totally different story. I'm not even going to start to advise you on what resistors to use for amps. Um, but for 9 volt effects pedals, um, generally it's quarter watt and less told otherwise. Um, so the next part is the um, the next part of the question is um, what um, tolerance you can use. I generally try and stick with metal because they're one percent. Um, you can use um, carbon composite, I think, uh, carbon film, sorry, I think, I think they're 1%, I've gone blank. Um, carbon film is less, generally less um, to uh, tolerant than, uh, has, has a more looser tolerance than the metal, metal film, but they, they're both perfectly fine. Uh, some people are just built with carbon film, but I mean, metal film so cheap and, and readily available these days, just try and stick with metal film and you'll be fine. So you really want to go for quarter watt metal film. Go for quarter watt metal film, there's no question. You, you, you're, you're fine. If you use if you use half watt carbon film, the tolerance is starting to get loose, and the and the rating the the, the resistor will be bigger because of the thermal rating of the um uh, the power rating of the of the resistor and the and the thermal dissipation that it needs, and it may not fit the PCB so the PCB layout. So go for quarter watt quarter watt metal film and you'll be fine. Substitute one here and there if you can't get a particular value in, in metal film, get carbon film, um, but generally try and stick with metal film um, and you'll be fine on that. And then the last one is the, um, the last part of the question is the actual resistor um, uh, uh, material, what the resistor is made of. Uh, carbon film is fine. Just because it says carbon doesn't mean it's going to be noisy. Carbon film is okay. Carbon composite is a different story. It's quite noisy. Um, it's an oldest type of resistor. If you, unless you're trying to make something that's, that's historically accurate, don't bother using um, carbon composite. They're actually more expensive these days than carbon film because they're carbon film and metal film because they're, because they're old and they're rare. So you're better off just going with metal film anyway. Um, but um, if you're doing, yeah, like I said, like a, a range master, a range master is a good, actually a pretty good candidate for using old resistors in if you want to do something that's historically correct, like I said before. Um, because it adds noise, but it makes the boost sound. It's actually quite a nice noise. But I've found with things like fuzz faces and tone benders, if you use those type of resistors, um, with those types of circuits, high gain circuits, the noise starts to get too, it becomes too much and it starts to sound pretty crappy. But with a range master, it sounds pretty good. So, to recap, <clears throat> the answer to the question, what's the, what's the ideal resistor to use for pedal building? It's gonna be metal film, 1%, quarter watt. That's, that's the general purpose resistor that you need. You use that, you'd be fine with anything. Like I said before, you can use carbon film every now and then, that's fine. Don't use carbon composite and don't go too low or too high on the power rating unless you're told to do so. So that answers the question on, on um, resistor selection. I'll probably do one on um, capacitor selection next as well because um, that's another one that I get a lot of questions about, um, what capacitors to use and things like that. Um, but I hope I answered the question on what resistors you're going to need for your project. So go get your metal film quarter watt resistors um, and you will be A-OK. -okay. Thanks for watching. Keep your eye out for more B2B Back to Basics videos. And don't forget to subscribe.